about yeah, that. Yeah, but what, what, some more. What, 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 <laughs> what's the proper nomenclature? That's a 3.0 3 SI. SI, that's it, way. state way. 3.0 SI yeah. estate way. I got it now. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. I think he's mystical. <laughs> okay, Don. Hold on one second. Yes, Carlo. <laughs> Don, you guys just finished a gorgeous 3.0 SI estate wagon, which is, I understand, extremely rare. Please tell us all about it. This is a real, this was a real interesting project uh, for us. This is a right-hand drive car uh, made in England, very exclusive only to the English market, and not made by uh, BMW in the factory. It was a project that uh, Langley Motors, a dealer in uh, uh, London itself, came up with this conversion idea, and there's probably 10, maybe 12, maybe eight, nobody knows really how many, but either side of 10 of these cars that, uh, that were made. And they are a, uh, uh, as we know it in America, the Bavaria, as the European market knows it, the 3.0 SI. And they took that four-door sedan and converted it to a station wagon. It was very, very popular. This right-hand drive wagon came to us from uh, David Maughan, who lives uh, just outside of uh, London or Heathrow Airport area, as, as I kind of know it. And David always had a passion for these cars, he told me. We had a phone conversation one day, and he explained to me that he had already had three of these cars. Now, if there's only 10 or 12 built, there's one man who has uh, really uh, developed a love, of, a love affair, a real passion for this model. And the third car, uh, the other two he had uh, driven into the ground and jumped, the third car, he contacted me and said, I'd like to restore this car, and here's my story. Four years ago, I started this with a restoration shop uh, nearby here in England, and uh, they took the car apart, they painted the car, they determined that the engine was bad and bought a uh, factory reman engine, installed it, and then we got into a contest uh, between them and I of what the project should cost and I wasn't happy with the quality of the paint and they put the motor in and they didn't do any detailing on the motor like I liked and so I stopped the project. Then uh, the two of us got into a uh, legal fight. So David said to me, uh, my, my legal issue is over with uh, these people here in England. So, after that conversation, uh, I encouraged David to uh, put it in a container. Uh, we have an agent uh, on the back side of O'Hare Airport that handles all of our air or sea shipments. And uh, Jeff handled getting the car out of England into a container into uh, America and into the shop. And uh, when it came in, it was a disaster and it was missing a significant amount of the custom pieces that were originally created for the back end uh, conversion. And so oddly enough, after being here about a month and getting a list of all the uh, parts that we were short uh, and, and uh, getting involved in uh, custom making them, but how do we even get a picture for the patterns and that that we need? So one day I'm on a phone conversation with David and I'm expressing my frustration with him that yes, this can obviously be done, but it's going to cost a huge amount of money to make all of these uh, custom pieces or remake them. And he said to me, you're not going to believe this, but as we're talking, I'm on eBay right now, and there is a wagon on eBay, one of these 10 or 12 on eBay, pretty ratty, pretty rusty, but it's uh, the high bid is 800 pounds sterling right now. And I said to him, David, buy it, scoop it up right away, because it's probably $20,000 it will cost to make all of these special parts. Uh, so David bought that uh, parts car, ended up paying 1,200 pounds sterling, uh, and then uh, we put that in a container and shipped it over here. 
so we brought the parts car uh, back to America and commenced the restoration. And uh, the project finished incredibly well. Uh, David uh, Mon, the owner, has been here three times from England to uh, watch its progress. Uh, he's incredibly pleased. The car now is on a ship on the way back to him. Uh, and it's going to be a hit. He's going to be driving it all over England. He's going to take it to a lot of BMW shows, a lot of other concours. Uh, it's, the, the car itself will become well known in England. Probably the most difficult part of the restoration on uh, the estate wagon was the uh, rear hatch door. Uh, it appeared to us when the car came in that it was not a part that had been created had not been uh, made by hand, and it looked like it was a production part, but first to identify where it came from was difficult, and after a huge amount of research, we identified it as being from an Austin Maxi. And what had come to us was in deplorable shape, very rusted, missing the rear glass. So now, now that we had a handle on where it came from, it was easier for us then to, to go hunting, and sure enough, we found a new glass, and uh, we got rid of all the rust uh, through normal body work uh, uh, issue, uh, techniques. And uh, that allowed us to recreate uh, the rear hatch door. That was probably the most difficult. Other areas that were hard um, were the trim around the rear windows that uh, were a ter terrible fit. And the pieces obviously were custom made for each, uh, each car as it was built. So we, had, we tried, uh, tried to improve the fit uh, of those parts, uh, and the end, end result came out very well. Some say there are eight, you know, I mean, so that's why I used eight, ten, twelve. That's you know, anybody's guess. Was it fun to work on? They're all fun to work on. Oh my God, there's not one that we worked on that I want. Even in 2002, after you've made so many of them, uh, it's fun. Because, because the, the real reward is seeing all the customers' eyes light up when they come and pick the car up. It's, it's, you know, meeting somebody's expectations, I get off on. I went to the vehicle the same thing.